Objective of this video is to define role and capabilities of a popular framework called as Polymer. Pol Polymer is an open source JavaScript library which was contributed by developers who were involved in building Chrome web browser. Objective of this library was to help developers to utilize web's full potential by, util by coming up with a evolving web, pla web platform and also continuously providing improvement to it. In order to ensure that this library is available to all, Google team contributed it as an open source project on GitHub. It came up with rich libraries in order to build applications which are rich interfaces for users and also provided capability of interacting with DOM elements in an interactive and standard way. It provided capability of building responsive applications by providing huge number of responsive attributes and properties and also it provided styling which was internally default and also can be brought in externally. Focus of Polymer was to provide a platform in order to build rich web applications which will be powerful in order to interact with custom widgets as well as library driven widgets with the user and provided capability of reusing those web components across multiple web applications in your enterprise. Let's explore some of the features which makes Polymer a popular choice of web component development. First important element which is brought in by Polymer is the approach of creating custom elements. It provided a simple way of just instantiating an element by using DOM object. Apart from this, it also provided two diversified types of data binding when it comes to binding between data and the control. It was one way as well as two way. Two way indicated that whenever there will be change in data, automatically view will reflect it and whenever you will change the content of view it will be updated in the data it also provided huge number of properties which are computed properties to simplify the way data is managed polymer also adopted template based web component development where they provided repeatable as well as conditional templates which can be applied on your web applications. Polymer provided specific interest in coming up with gesture events where huge number of interfaces were built in order to trap the gesture and fire the events. Now how actually we can use Polymer with Yomin? Polymer can be used with Yomin by using a specific generator which was built in order to quickly generate polymer based applications and name of that generator was generator polymer it is used in order to quickly scaffold applications using yeoman where directory structure and the components will be polymer driven generator polymer also provided capability of customizing polymer element via command line interface as well as by providing you configuration file which you can edit Polymer comes with a starter kit support which ensures that entire application is generated and developers need to just go and tune it or extend it as per the business use case. In order to work with different elements of Polymer like element or stub, Polymer came up with concept of sub generator. These sub generators were used in order to create diversified types of Polymer elements for your rich application. Apart from this, in order to share the components which are built using Polymer, it can be quickly deployed to GitHub from where others can go and download and can reuse it in their applications as well. Testing is an integrated part of any framework. Polymer also provides capability of quick testing of components which are added as part of Polymer framework by using web component tester which simplifies the testing and developer need to just go and write the test cases without bothering about libraries which are required in order to manage those tests. 
Now we'll take up a typical scenario where we'll come to know how actually polymer is used with different components. So we'll be taking up four important components. First is angular module where you are going to use polymer element in order to build UI. Then you'll have polymer element itself. Polymer ele element can fire various type of events and those events can be handled by using polymer element DOM string. Which DOM string takes responsibility of handling the directories. For example, it detects the change and responds accordingly. Any polymer element that you'll be creating will be taken care by huge set of polymer libraries. So by using polymer element, which is outcome of polymer library, and by using polymer element, which is DOM string, in order to detect the change, you can utilize polymer element to represent UI in any popular frameworks like Angular or even you can use it with various other frameworks like Backbone, JS and React. In this video, we discussed benefit of Polymer and what Polymer framework brings to the table when it comes to web application development.